this is also something that I think about constantly is like you almost, or I feel that I have a responsibility to actually become rich. And like the goal for me is like $10 million and, and multiple passports. And I think that is what actually gives you an element of freedom these days. We've got no idea, like bearing in mind, I'm in Eastern Europe in a country that has, it, it, it's had a history with Russia. Uh, Russia invaded Georgia back in like 2008, still 20% of Georgia is occupied to this day, quite a similar deal to what Ukraine was offered, it seems. So who knows, uh, like what, what can happen here? Of course, like fingers crossed that, um, that nothing does happen, but I think that you have to be prepared for all eventualities and you don't want to be someone who is scrambling around at the last minute in a time of crisis. Like as an example, I'm fully stocked up on food because there is a chance that there can be a food shortage, quite high likelihood actually, but I don't want to make this <laughs> too negative, but it's just something to be prepared for. You can go down the shops now, stock up on a load of canned food foods and pastas and so on, and just, uh, keep them in a spare room somewhere so that if there is an emergency, you're, you're prepared. And the other thing that I recently purchased was like a large battery pack that can be solar powered and it has USB chargers. It's universal plug, so you can charge a laptop off it. It's not, you can plug it into the mains to charge it as well, but it also has a solar panel. If ever there was like a time of crisis, I think that's quite a useful piece of kit to have. The other thing is just, um, keep some cash, not huge amounts of money, but just have some money, preferably in some multiple currencies as well. And also have an escape route, have an escape plan in case, I don't know, worst case scenario, missiles start landing in, in your city. What is, and have multiple escape routes. So I actually did a, a course on OPSEC operational security, and this was actually one of the modules that they have where you have to, yeah, you have to, to basically plan, plan the evacuation and execute it, which was a, a fun module. I strongly suggest everyone to actually look into, um, to OPSEC as well, into operational security. I think it's a, a, a great investment of time to protect like yourself and the, the people around you. It's like spy, some military type exercises as well It's mostly like spy related things on awareness, gathering information. Yeah. Re really interesting thing that I'm actively exploring at the moment. I've done a course on and have read a, a couple, couple of books on what else can we get into other than that, let's come into notion and I'm just going to share a couple of things I've been looking at recently. Uh, I've read a book called the one thing I recommend reading it. If anyone hasn't read it, I'll just give you the breakdown. It basically means figure out what is the most important thing you can do that day or on this particular day and do it and just forget about all the other nonsense and noise. And there's like a little system in there. So I do that every single day. I figure out what is my most important task. And now my mission for every single day isn't get five tasks done, do this and this. It is as long as I do the most important thing, the thing that can have the most impact in my life, I've had a successful day and it works really quite well. It's just, again, not getting too complicated. It's applying like the 80, 20 principle. And then the other thing that I love is this, it's a could do and should do list. So I go through all of my tasks. You'll see all of these are should do because anything that is a could do task doesn't even make it into my list of things to do. It's category, not giving, like I've seen some really like an annoyingly complicated systems, like on impact, how long it takes and so on. And I just think it's like, it's too much to do too much of a process that needs to be like constantly kept up to. So all I do could do or should do, if it's should do, it just gets put on the back burner. I'll go through it every like week or yeah, but like in my like weekly review, but other than that, that's it. And these are everything that I, that I should do things that I need to do. And then I can just give a priority through one to five. Generally, I don't actually do that much anymore. But then the other thing that I've been doing as well recently in terms of like motivational thing is rewards. So this is the like gamification type thing. I will generally try to keep my rewards related to whatever it is that I am working on. So for example, to support what I'm working on, if that makes sense. So at the moment I had a, a daily goal of walking 10,000 steps and I set myself a reward that when I walk 10,000 steps, five days in a row, I can get a pair of, there was like some trainers that I saw in Dubai that I liked. It's going to depend on your budget, but that's like a, a it's a reasonable reward for me. I am happy to spend $150 to reward myself for walking five days per five days in a row doing 10,000 steps. And then when I do it for 30 days, I have a, a slightly bigger reward and it's essentially just a way of building habits and humans build habits really well when they are rewarded. Uh, I get motivation from it and it just keeps me 
keeps pushing me forward. And when you are buying things that are supporting your goals, that's my point. So I've walked five days per, per eight, five days in a row. Now I get the shoes that I want. Now I get to go out and walk out in my new trainers that I wanted. And then you can keep, keep building on that. So I also do that in work. I try to continue making my work a more and more pleasurable experience as, as I make more money. I in work, maybe it's not the best example because actually my most recent findings are that less is more when it comes to your workspace. But like an example here would be like buying AirPods Max and also having a pair of AirPods next to me. It's unnecessary. However, it makes the experience for me of working more pleasurable. I can't even show them now, but I recently bought like some Philips Hue. It's like a top light that changes color. This it was about $700 or something. So again, completely unnecessary, but it makes my experience of working more pleasant. I've also been looking at like the Apple XDR display. So just invest in your workspace, like rather than me rambling on about all the things I bought, invest in your workspace to have a more pleasurable time, which is actually an investment in yourself so that you spend more time working and should end up making more, more money.